Kang Gurin. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Roberto. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. Are you having a good day? Please. Excuse me? Are you having a good day? Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. Very That's good. Very good. Okay. Very good. That's nice. And you're going to work today afternoon? No, 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 a nosotros nos toca hasta el jueves. Oh, okay. So, yes, because we still have classes tomorrow. Tenemos la última clase el día de mañana. Oh, sí, estamos. Yes, ready. <laughs> a, ver, a ver si estamos a tiempo porque tenemos que hacer. <laughs> Okay, I hope you do. Y si no, pues siempre conectense aunque lleguen un poquito tarde. Solo dejen saber que no pueden estar como muy participativos porque tienen algo que hacer, etcétera. Y pues, ahí. pero importante es que se conecten aunque sea un ratito para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes. Okay. Oh, sí, claro, ahí estamos siempre pendientes. Ok, that is good. So thank you so much, Roberto, Juan Carlos, and Jose, for being on time. We are going to start with the class. Yesterday, we were discussing about sport and system. We listened to this vocabulary and also the conversation, but we did not have a chance to practice. So we're going to practice today. I'm going to share the audio with you for sport and season. You can repeat at home, remember with microphones off to avoid uh, delays in sound and to to have a, um, a messy <laughs> practice. So we're going to do it with microphones off and you can repeat after you hear. Unit 10. What sports do you play? Page 64, exercise one. Snapshot. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. Listen and practice. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, and play basketball. In the summer, people play baseball, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. Okay, so that's to make a review. Es para hacer un pequeño repaso de lo que vimos ayer. Um, definimos también vocabulario el día de ayer, pero no practicamos pronunciación. Les voy a poner el audio una vez más y voy a hacer una pausa después de cada temporada para que ustedes puedan repetir en casa. Unit 10. What sports do you play? Page 64, Exercise 1. Snapshot. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. Listen and practice. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, and play basketball. In the summer, people play baseball, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking.
In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. Also, we listen to this conversation and we did not have a chance to practice, so we're going to listen again. And I'm going to pause the recording so that you can repeat at home. Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. Oh. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, there was the audio of the conversation. Do you have any doubts or questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No question. Okay, then if no questions, do we have volunteers to replay this conversation? Can I? Sure, Juan Carlos. And yeah. I heard you, but I, I don't see it. <laughs> Name, so Juan Carlos and Jose? Jose. Okay, yes. okay. You can start, Juan Carlos. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love the sport. Really? What sport do My you like? My favorite are hockey, basketball, and soccer. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you I mean? I just watch thin on TV. Okay, that was very, very well done. That's just one word. Listen, um, athlete. Esta suena como e athlete. Athlete. Ah, okay. Athlete. Uh huh. Now you can change. Okay. Okay. So you think what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're really sports. 
What do you I mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, that was pretty, pretty good. One more word. Favorite. 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 Yes, it, it just, this one is a matter of practicing very, very much because it, it's como bien parecida a la de español. Entonces, tiende a hacernos mm -hmm. un poquito de truco ahí. So, remember, it's favorite. It's favorite. Regular, regular. favorite. Favorite. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have two more volunteers? Two more volunteers, Atrasa. Erika, okay. Do we have another volunteer to practice with Erika? Erika and... Me. Roberto. Roberto? Yes. Okay, sure. Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Erika. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're 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 you are really good uh, athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you What do you mean? Yeah. I just watch them on TV. Okay, pretty good. You did a very, very nice job. Just for me. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now you can change. You can start okay. now, Roberto. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? My favorite are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're really good athlete. When do you play at this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Very good job. Thank you so much for participating. You did it excellent. Thank you, Roberto and Erika. Uh, do we have two more volunteers? No more volunteers? Okay, so that was uh, for the topic that was pending yesterday. So we're going to continue with the next thing. I'm going to share the screen with you. And uh, we watched this video yesterday, the sports and system vocabulary. So we will continue with the next one, which is uh, the simple present WH questions. And the conversation and um, sports, which I think that we will be covering practice. And practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, 
baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with, let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, that was um, to review the WH questions in the simple present. Um, in the video that you just um, watched, they were explaining the formula 
that we follow to um, to make a WH question in the simple present. Okay, uh, and also it was the um, the second question. Who do you play baseball with? Because the structure is a little bit different. But um, I don't know if you have any issue with that or is it uh, isn't it clear now? Está claro lo de las simple present WH questions y um, la excepción de la segunda pregunta, who do you play baseball with? Or it's not really clear? Any comments? Can you repeat again the second question, please? Um, who do you play baseball with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is the exception? Ah, because it might. Okay, the regular instruction is the WH words. Mm -hmm. And after the WH word, we need the auxiliary do or does. After okay. the auxiliary subject, then mm -hmm. after the subject, we need the verb, the complement, and then after the complement, we have a question mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the structure. Um, y la otra is este es para la eh, luego. Esta, si se fijan acá tienen negritas la WH word. What sports do you play? Who do you play baseball with? Es como que se separara en, en, en dos lo de la W. Right? Pero en, en la estructura que nos eh, planteaba es... Ay, Okay, this is the regular one. Esta es la estructura regular, okay? Pero si luego ponemos eh, con with, ¿cómo nos queda? Es básica la misma, pero le ponemos with al final. Y mencionaba, este es específicamente cuando queremos saber con quién, con quién, qué, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, con quién jugas béisbol en este caso, o básquetbol, eh, con quién vas a la clase, ¿okay? con quién vas al cine, con quién jugas soccer los fines de semana. Entonces, eh, nos puede sonar un poco raro que el with, que sabemos que este es con, vaya al final. Pero esta es la estructura, digamos, la más común, porque se menciona que está with, poner el with primero, y luego whom, no who, es whom, para preguntar con quién, y, son, y suena y es más parecido a como lo hacemos en español, ¿verdad? Que decimos con quién. Sería with who? Uh -huh. Ajá. Y luego do or does, luego el sujeto, verbo, complemento. Hasta ahí llegaría si usamos with whom. Pero eso no es muy común preguntar de esta forma, with whom, para decir con quién. No es muy común. Sin embargo, eh, menciona en el video que sí es correcto. Podemos decir with whom do you drink coffee in the afternoon? Oh, with whom do you take lunch? Como con quien almuerzas, con quien tomas el café, etc. With whom? 
pero no es muy común. Lo mejor es hacerlo eh, siguiendo la estructura que tenemos eh, acá. Y en este caso, la WH word, si queremos saber eh, eh, alguna persona es who, esa sería la WH word. Eh, por ejemplo, si yo le quiero preguntar, eh, ¿con quién estudias? Para tus exámenes, por ejemplo, yo quiero saber con quién estudias. Who do you study? Who do you study with? Sería con quién estudia. Y la otra forma que les decía que no es muy común y que ahí with whom do you study. Pero es solamente cuando queremos saber con quién, quién nos acompaña en alguna actividad con quién vamos a jugar, con quién trabajamos, con quién estudio, con quién eh, tomas el café, etc. Eso es solo en este caso que queramos saber con quién. Entonces la estructura cambia un poco. Pero solo en esta. So, la normal, la estructura normal para una WH question en presente simple llega hasta aquí, ¿verdad? Como okay. que digamos, por ejemplo... Where does Por ejemplo, yo quiero saber a dónde toma ella el bus. Entonces la WH is where. Luego tengo el auxiliar, das, en este caso, sujeto, she. Verbo, take, complemento, the past. ¿Ok? ¿A dónde toma ahí el bus? ¿A dónde toma ahí el bus? ¿Ok? Eh, ahora quiero saber con quién espera el bus ella. ¿Con quién espera el bus? ¿Quién la acompaña? ¿Quién la acompaña a esperar el bus? Entonces, ahí, mi WH word sería... Who. Who, exacto. Esa es Who la WH word. Who. Does, does she... Does she take the bus with? Ajá, ¿con quién toma el bus? Podría ser... Who does she take the bus With. Ella va viendo cómo va. La WH word, como quiero saber sobre quién, qué persona es who. Esa será mi WH word. O lo podemos poner aquí para que no nos confunda. Who. Luego el auxiliar. Do or that. Luego el sujeto, que sería she. Verbo, take. Complement, the past. Y después del complement, with. ¿Ya sí quedó un poco más claro ahora? Yes. Excelente. Eso es solo cuando queremos saber con quién. Who y luego al final, we. ¿Sí? Si hay alguna otra pregunta, haga. No se queden con preguntas. Y aquí está el grammar focus, el audio de lo que acabamos de escuchar. The last simple question WH questions. Let's listen one more time so we can um, uh, rehearse our listening. Page 65, exercise three, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. 
When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, now the exercise that you have with this question, I'm showing you here. And here it is. What we need to do is to complete the conversations with the correct WH question word and then practice with a part. This is related to um, to this one, my focus. So we need to read the question and probably the answer. Para hacer esto, a veces es necesario leer incluso la respuesta para saber qué es lo que se está preguntando. Um, así que, bueno, por ejemplo, la primera ya está hecha. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? Y luego decía, do you like to watch? Y la respuesta es soccer. It's my favorite. Lo que nos hace llegar a la conclusión que la WH word que necesitábamos era what, sport. ¿Qué deporte? Que estaba pues compuesta. Tiene que ser what sport. And then do you like to watch? Así es que con estas pistas vamos a ir siguiendo eh, la, la secuencia de la conversación, chequeando el grammar focus para ver cuál es la WH question correcta que nos está haciendo para. Lo pueden hacer aquí en su PDF o cada quien individual. O lo pueden ir um, escribiendo en un cuaderno, como les salga mejor.
Have you finished? Finished? Almost. Almost. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll give you more time. Mm -hmm. Where? I am finished. Okay, so first, this is, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Doctor, it's my favorite. Juan Carlos? When do you usually watch soccer? Yeah, that is correct. So the question word here is when. 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 Okay, that's correct. When do you usually watch soccer? Okay, continue, Juan Carlos. On Sunday afternoons. Mm -hmm. And and where do you usually watch it? At home? Excellent. That is correct. Where? Where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my my friend's house. He has a really big television. Excellent. That is correct. A volunteer for number two? What are you for number two? Daisy, thank you so much, Daisy. Daisy, your microphone is off. How? Oh. How? How do you how do you go by reading? Oh, how do you go by writing? Están bien el inicio, pero falta algo. How? Le falta una palabra. How? How deep? Mm? How deep mm. do you? It says, oh, about mm. once a month. No sé si me está así alrededor de una vez al mes. Entonces, la question word sería how? No, no, no. How? How do you? How this? No. Often. Often, yes. Mm. Yes. How often do you go by Friday? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh. Who do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Está diciendo que usualmente alrededor de la una en punto. Usually at about one o'clock. 
What time? Excellent. What time? What time? Next. What is the last one? When do you do? Mm, you usually go with. Mm. And she replies, my sister. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? No. No, I hear is I think I start. Go. Go. Yes, that is correct. Who mm -hmm. do you? Yes. Now let us practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. I watch sports on television every weekend. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you watch? Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. Soccer, Soccer is, is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? When do, when you, do usually you usually watch soccer? soccer? On Sunday afternoon. On, On Sunday, Sunday afternoon. afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? And where do you usually where watch do it? Where do you usually at watch home? it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. No, no at my, my friend's house. house. He has, really he big has a really big television. How often do you go by Friday? How often, How often do you go by writing? Oh, about once a month. Oh, oh about, about once, a month. once a month. I love to go by writing. I go every Sunday. I, I, I love, love to, to go, go by writing. I go, I go every, every Sunday. 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 Really? What time do you go? Really? really? What time do you what go? Time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Usually, Usually at about, about one, one o'clock. Usually at about. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go with? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Who, Who do, do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. My sister, My come, sister with come with us next time. New stage. Okay, pretty good. Uh, volunteers to role play the conversation? Can I, teacher? Sure. Hi, teacher. Good night. Okay. Okay, Juan Carlos and Erika. Okay. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It is my favorite. When do you when do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home. No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Who often do you go bike riding? Riding. Yes, bike oh. riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every su Sunday. Really? Sunday. What time do you go? I usually about 
I usually about uh, one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister con my sister con with you next time. My sister. Next time. My sister. Come with my us next time. Come with us next time. Yes. Excellent. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um so do we have two more volunteers? No more volunteers? Okay, if there are no more volunteers, we can continue with the next part, which is to complete the conversation with questions and then practice with a part. So it says, I, I like a lot of a sport, but I really love volleyball. Entonces, para esa respuesta, la pregunta debió ser, what sports do you like? So you have to, to do the same with the rest of them. Tienen que hacer lo mismo con el resto de las que están ahí. Leer la respuesta y escribir la pregunta que va a ir a esa respuesta. Les voy a dar tiempo para que hagan el ejercicio y luego chequeamos.
Have you finished or you need more time? I am finished. Okay, you're finished. Now, let's see. The first one is, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. What do you have do you next? Play? Who do you play with? Who okay. Do you play yes. with? Mm -hmm. I usually who play do you with play my sister. Volleyball with? Yes, that is correct. So you can play, um, who do you play volleyball with? with? Or who do you usually play with? Or who do you play with? Cualquiera de las dos, es, eh, de las tres, perdón, está gramalmente, gramaticalmente correcta. So yes, thank you so much, Juan Carlos and Roberto. Eh, next. Next question. When do you practice? When do you practice? Yes, when do you practice? We practice on Saturdays. Next question. What time, what do, time, you do, you what time do, you, do you start? Yes, correct. What time do you start? <laughs> mm -hmm. And the last one? Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, the next activity is a speaking one, but I want to stop for a while so I can check attendance. So please say your names when you listen to them. Daisy del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Edwin Antonio Torres. Erika Yamile Torellana. Ernesto Antonio Espinosa. Jose Alberto Orantes. Present. Jose Alberto Quijada. Jose Alberto Quijada. Jose Francisco Martínez. Josué David Mejía. Juan Carlos Morán González. Juan Carlos Padilla. Present. Karen Liliana Aquino. Catherine Ivonne Palacio. Roberto Barbie Lemos. Present. Thank you. Ruth Noemi Carpio. Vida y Lester Pérez. Present. Thank you. So we are few. Pocos, a ver, espero que mañana sea el nombre. Pero no lo sé. Teacher, a mí no me, me pregunto. Pensé que se había desconectado porque sí la mencioné, pero no contestó. Ahorita ah, la contesté. Es que aquí está lloviendo, teacher, y se está, sí, está fea imagino. la señal. Aquí también está bien oscuro, pero ahorita sí ya la puso. Gracias, Erika, por confirmar. Bueno. Ok, um, Let's continue then. Okay, after that, we have a listening exercise and another conversation. I can't think. So let me share screen with you so that we can complete the listening part. 
Okay, on your material, we have this listening. You can see, you can see it, listening. Listen to the conversation about sports and complete the chart. So we have a four people. We have Casey, John, Sue, and Henry. And they are going to talk about what's their favorite sport. And you have to check if they watch or play it. If you do not have the material printed, I'll give you time for you to write them down in your notebooks. So you can write this chart in, in your notebook. Pueden hacer este cartelito en su cuaderno eh, para que luego completen la parte de listening, la información que ahí hace falta. Have you finished the chart? Yes. Okay, I'm going to play the recording so that you can check. Uh, first, write what is their favorite sport. You're gonna listen to Casey, John, Sue, and Henry. Write their favorite sport, and then check if they play that sport or if they watch it. So let me play the recording and share audio with you. Page 66, exercise four, listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. One. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. Two. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite, too. So when do you play it? Every summer. Three. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. Four. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Page 66, Exercise 4, Listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know, I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait, I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. Two. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? 
What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite too. So when do you play it? Every summer. Three. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm. I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball, but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. Four. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Did you get all the answers or you want to listen again? ¿Lograron agarrar todas las respuestas o quieren escuchar el audio de nuevo? ¿You completed? Yes, I complete. Okay, so here. Okay, okay, okay. The answers. What do you have about Casey? She said that her favorite sport is golf and she played it. Um, now, what about Young? What is Jen's favorite sport? Uh, uh, baseball. His favorite is baseball. Yes, uh, that is correct. His favorite sport is baseball. Does he play it or watch it? He likes play. She plays. Mm -hmm. Play. Uh, what about Sue? What's her favorite sport? Basketball. Okay, what? does she play it or watch it? Watch. Watch. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And number four, um, Henry. Your favorite is hockey. His favorite, remember favorite, his favorite sport is hockey. Yeah. Uh-huh. And does he play it or watch it? Watch. Watch yeah. and play. Watch. Okay, yeah. The num the last one is play and watch. Oh, yes, teacher. Yes, play and watch. So listen again so you can double check your answer. Page 66, exercise 4, listening. What sports do you like? Listen to the conversations about sports. Complete the chart. 1. What sports do you like, Casey? You know... I don't like sports very much. So you never play sports? No, I don't. Oh, wait. I do like golf. Oh, really? When do you play golf? In the spring and summer. Two. What do you think of football, John? I like it. Actually, I like lots of sports. Oh, yeah? What sports do you like? Let's see. I like swimming and bike riding and especially baseball. It's my favorite. Baseball's my favorite, too. So when do you play it? Every summer. Three. Do you like soccer, Sue? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, I guess my favorite sport is basketball. Really? Where do you play? Oh, I don't play basketball. 
but a lot of my friends do, and I like to watch them play. 4. Do you play volleyball, Henry? Volleyball? Uh, no. I think it's a little boring. I see. Well, do you like any sports? Oh, sure. My favorite sport is hockey. I love hockey. Now that's an exciting sport. How often do you play? Not very often. About two or three times a year. But I watch it on TV a lot. Okay, so he said Henry plays hockey not very often. No muy seguido para jugar. Pero si también no mira, he watch it. So, let's see. We have a speaking activity here. Then, Okay, for this speaking, we need to ask these questions. What sports do you like? What sports do you dislike? What do you do on Sunday? What do you like to do in the summer? And how often do you play video games? Are the questions clear? Uh, how how um what is the mean teacher dislike in summer? Oh, dislike mm -hmm. es que algo que no le gusta. Dislike es que no gusta. Uh, it's the opposite okay. of like. Yeah, me like. Dislike. 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 No dislike. In summer, teacher. Summer. Uh, summer is verano. Yes, verano. Bueno, gracias, teacher. Okay. Now, the idea is like uh, to practice this conversation, eh, como hacer pequeñas conversaciones con estas preguntas. So, um, I like to create two groups, hacer dos grupos para que ustedes practiquen y se hagan, por ejemplo, la pregunta número uno. Si en el grupo está Juan, Erika y Roberto, I can start with Juan. What sports do you play? Your microphone is off. I like football okay you play football and what sport do you dislike um i don't like the box box which one basketball soccer tennis uh, basketball I don't like basketball. Okay, you don't like basketball. Okay. So, y así fue irle preguntando um, de repente luego a Erika, luego a Roberto, y luego Roberto me hace la pregunta a mí para que yo no me quede sin responder esa pregunta. Y luego sigue Juan Carlos con la pregunta dos, hacérselas a todos los del grupo. Okay. And it's about practicing and speaking. Si se dieron cuenta, no es algo tan difícil y tienen que irse acostumbrando a hablar. Entonces, puede hacerlo break up room para que ustedes hagan esas preguntas y las respondan en su grupo. Okay. Esa es una actividad speaking, es algo que se debe de hacer verbal. Así es que so, no debería de haber mucho complicación.
para Ahorita hacer las lo... preguntas. Ahorita lo ando buscando, pero no lo encontré. Ajá. Lo de las preguntas. Ya vamos a ver si lo vuelvo a encontrar. Ahorita creo que acaba de caer. Vamos a ver si me cayó. Ya puso el candado, mi amor. ¿Qué? No, no era. No, no las encontré las preguntas en el material no, no lo encuentro y allí esperando el verde ¿Ya, ¿Ya le apareció, Erika? Mm, no, fíjese. En el, en el WhatsApp, en el WhatsApp, este, acaban de caer, creo yo. ¿Quiero ver? Ah, oh, bueno. Sí, en el WhatsApp acaban de caer. Alguien. Alguien las compartió. Ah, sí, acá están. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, pero me voy a ver si la puedo subir. Aquí, okay, permita. Esta tormenta está algo fea aquí. Mm, acá, comenzando, están a caer unas gotitas. Ya está poniendo. Fíjese que están ahí, pero sale que solo quizás la teacher lo puede compartir. Ah, ¿por qué no le, no le pareció a usted? No, me dice que solo el anfitrión puede compartir donde yo le di compartir una flechita. Ah. A ver si podía subir la imagen. Ajá. Eh, Daisy, ¿a usted le aparece la, la, la foto de las preguntas? ¿En el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí. Sí. Vaya, ahí las podemos utilizar, Erika. Es que sí me aparecen, pero yo para que las tuviéramos ahí en el, en el S. Ajá, este, que la pudiéramos compartir. Vaya, pues entonces empecemos. Vaya. Okay. Daisy, what sport do you like? I like volleyball. Okay. Um, Juan Carlos, what sport do you dislike? I don't like um, basketball. Okay. Daisy, what do you do on Sunday? Mm. Go to the shopping. Okay. Good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Juan Carlos, what do you like to what do you like to do in the summer? Uh, 
I like to the beach. Okay, it's very good. <laughs> and they say, who, who often do you play video games? I don't like. Hey. Oh, no me gusta. Belén, de Jesús. Free Fire, hubiera dicho. No, no me gusta. O Clash of Clan, o qué es lo que juega. No juega nada. No, solo veo las novelas. Ah. Oye, la er Oye, la Erika, hay que preguntarle a Erika. Dios mío. Belén. Okay. Pregúntele a Edwin. Eh, Daisy, pregúntele a Edwin. Ah, sí, hay alguien más. Pregúntele. Hola. Ok, aquí. Hola. Edwin. Escucha. Medio. Eh, what sport do you like, Edwin? I like soccer. What sport do you dislike? Like okay. Uh, what do you do on Sundays? I go to the church. What do you like to do to do in the summers? Ya no he podido conectar. Okay. Uh, how often do you play video games? Okay. Vaya y si te pregunte la Erika. Ahorita le pregunto. What sport do you like, Erika? Uh, I like play soccer. What sport do you dislike? I don't like softball. What do you do on Sundays? Uh, I go with my darling in the park. How often do you play video games? Fue el amor. I don't, I don't like play video games. Okay. What okay. sport do you do? What sport do you like, Edwin? Okay. Belén, lo baja. Deja eso, Belén. What sport do you dislike, Daisy? El soccer. What do you do on Sundays? Go to the shopping. What do you like to do in the summer? Go to the beach. Okay. What do you do on Sunday, Edwin? Yo creo que a Edwin este está lloviendo porque de lejos se le oye la voz. Por eso es de que ajá, se le oye cortado también. ¿Ah? Sí, le está fallando la, la señal. Si está, no brinqué, te vas a golpear, última vez. No, no, Con eso te voy a dar, mira. No, mamá, yo también voy a... Da guarda ese pájaro, 
Ya no te voy a decir otra vez. Okay. Everybody is back again, so we can continue here. Um, but before we continue, I'm going to check attendance for the second time. So let's listen and stay present as soon as you hear your name. Daisy del Carmen. Present Thank you, Daisy. Erwin Antonio. Erika Yamile. Present teacher. Thank you. Ernesto Antonio. Present teacher. Present. José Alberto. Present. Thank you. José Francisco. Josué David Mejía, Juan Carlos Morán, Juan Carlos Padilla. Present. Thank you. Karen Liliana Aquino. Catherine Ivonne Palacio. Roberto Barbie Lemos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Ruth Noemi Carpio. Vidail Esther Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I'm going to continue sharing topics with you, and we have a video from the platform. Let's check and then discuss about it. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced, can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is, when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow this huh? rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that 
I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. That was about the auxiliary can and can't. Do you have any question about that? Do you know the meaning of that auxiliary? Sabemos que significa ese auxiliar. Es como poder, teacher. Poder y no poder. Yes, excellent. Poder y no poder. Poder o no poder de, de habilidad. Uh -huh. Sí. So, es un auxiliar. Um, eh, después de un auxiliar, el verbo se usa en infinitivo sin to. No se modifica, el verbo no se modifica. Eh, a esto me refiero, por ejemplo, en la tercera persona. So, you say she dances very well, right? ¿Se acuerdan de este topic? She dances very well. Esa es parte del presente simple. Cuando hacemos una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? En tercera persona singular, agregamos ES. Ese fue el primer tema que vimos, haciendo un repaso del simple present. Um, Entonces decíamos que a la tercera persona singular en oración afirmativa agregamos ES o solamente S a la mayoría de los verbos, ¿verdad? Entonces, en una oración si um, afirmativa como esta sería she dances very well. Porque es una tercera persona. Si yo ahora dijera primera persona I, so yo dijera I, yeah, I dance very well. I dance very well. Ahí no le hago nada al verbo, lo dejo tal cual es, ¿verdad? Cuando usamos un auxiliar, no se hacen estas modificaciones. Por ejemplo, aquí estamos diciendo ella dance, ella baila muy bien. She dances very well. Pero si yo digo ella puede bailar, entonces solo le agrego el can aquí. She can. Y le quito la S. She can dance very well. Esto es porque por regla, después de un modal auxiliar, no se modifica el verbo siguiente. Se deja en infinitivo. Infinitivo sin poner to. No puedo decir she can to dance. No. No le ponemos el to. Solo she can dance very well. Si yo, si yo quiero decir yo puedo bailar bien. I can dance. I can dance very well. Ok. Y acerca de la pronunciación, mencionaba en el video que es can. En afirmativo es como corto. Can. Can. Y para hacerlo negativo es can. Can. Ya es un poco más larguito. Y esto hay que hacer muy, mucho trabajo con esta pronunciación porque son similar. A veces cuesta distribuir, eh, de, 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 como diferenciar si dijo can, afirmativo, o can, y negativo. Entonces, por eso les decía en el video que pueden alargar acá como para hacer más claro que se está diciendo ne, no puedo o no puede. I can't. I can't dance very well. Okay. Eh, porque es muy fácil que se malentienda algo como dice, I can dance very well. Ah, ok, entonces vamos a bailar. No te estoy diciendo que no puedo. Right? It's like, I can't. I can't dance. Ok. Uh, eso era con respecto al video que acaban de ver. ¿Hay alguna pregunta o está claro? Ok. 
if there are no questions, we assume that everything is clear. So let me check if we have the um that we have the conversation here. So let us listen this conversation and then we will discuss. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer 
positively by saying yes I can and we can answer negatively by saying no I can't let's analyze one last example can he sing first we need the auxiliary verb can after that we include the subject he next we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end we can answer positively by saying yes he can and we can answer negatively by saying no he can't now it's your turn to practice using can and can't I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we um, we listen first to a conversation and then the grammar on how to form sentences and questions using the auxiliary can to express ability or lack of ability. Now, to start with, we're going to practice the conversation so remember that this is the, the last two days that we have to practice. Ya son los últimos dos clases que tenemos para practicar. En lo que es um, eh, estar speaking en el trabajo difícilmente o en la casa difícilmente lo vamos a hacer. Así que bueno, vamos a, a practicar lo más que podamos estas, estas clases que nos quedan y... Vamos a empezar ahorita con la conversación. Les voy a poner el audio haciendo pausa, dándoles eh, oportunidad que repitan en casa. Si luego sienten eh, alguna palabra es difícil, so you can ask and I can repeat. Ok, help you with pronunciation. And after that, we are going to practice in group. Siento que en grupo a veces como que les gusta más. <laughs> um, tienen más chance de practicar con más compañeros. Sí, lo hacemos en la sección principal, pero voy a estar eh, pendiente de sus rooms para escucharlos. Eh, vamos a empezar entonces ahorita con eh, escuchando acá la conversación. Voy a ir poniendo pausa para que ustedes repitan en casa siempre. Recuerden, microphones off, apagados para mientras. Page 66, exercise 6, conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano.
So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? Do you have any question about the vocabulary or pronunciation in this um, dialogue? No question, teacher. No questions? No. Okay. So I'm going to um, proceed with the breakup room. Remember that you have this in your material. Um, but I will share as well in the, in the group. Hmm. Hola. Hola. Ajá. Hola. Edwin, practicas con, con Daisy primero, luego Roberto y yo. ¿Está bien? Se me escucha, a ver si se me escucha. Sí, se te escucha algo. Ok, comienzo. ¿Qué comienzo? ¿Qué ¿Yo? Ok. Eh, oh, look, there's a talent contest. On Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can sing. Oh, no, I can't sing a lot. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. We not. Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Roberto, no se le escucha. Poco, pero sí. Ok, ahí estamos. Eh, inicie. Oh, look. There's a talent contest. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. 
but I can play the piano. So maybe we, we can enter the context. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Daisy. Hola. Eh, voy primero, después usted. Okay. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, dance. Will you can't too? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Um, uh, yes, Edwin and Roberto. Okay. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see very well. Really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Sing really well. Oh, that well, you oh, that well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing a tool, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the content. Sure, why not? Oh, let's practice, practice tomorrow. Okay. Chang. Okay. Chang. Esther, Chang. with Esther. But, okay. Hi, Esther. Esther. <laughs> Esther. Okay. Okay, Esther. Okay, All of you a talent function. On Saturday, let's enter. I can't. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. Oh, that well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the constant. Sure, why not? Let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Oh, look there. Look, there's a talent contents on such. On Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can, can you can sum really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh. Oh no, I can't sing song all at all, but I can play the piano. Por ahí hemos visto todos. Okay, um 
So everybody is back again. So, uh, tomorrow is the last class. Recuerden, mañana es la última clase. Tiene que estar todo de la plataforma terminado para que eviten pues, también inconveniente al momento de eh, hacer su certificado. No sé si eh, consideraron algún tema para repaso mañana o nos quedamos con lo que tenemos de la unidad 5. O hay algo que quisieran repasar. Preguntas, algo que no esté claro aún de los temas que hemos visto. No questions, no comments. Oh. No question. Good. So remember um, to get connected tomorrow is the last day of class y luego pues quedarían a la espera, ¿verdad? Para ver cuando eh, inicia su siguiente módulo. Así que pues nos vemos mañana para la última clase. Y igual, pues si de repente hay algo que se les ocurra a última hora de que no han comprendido muy bien, me lo pueden hacer saber y hacemos algunos ejercicios para repasar. Si me lo hacen saber ahora, tal vez en unos par de um, antes de que anochezca, yo puedo preparar una clase con ejercicios, audios y etcétera para que ustedes repasen. Y si no, pues nos quedamos solo con lo que resta de la unidad. So, por ahora, gracias por haberse unido. Les dejo descansar y que tengan una feliz tarde. Hasta bien. Gracias. Okay, gracias. 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 Gracias.